this this motor uh, to hold the pencil. So we marked two little holes that are going to line up there, the little marks on, on the pencil. And we got a 43 drill bit. We're going to drill two holes, which is 43 is just enough to fit these tiny little screws through the holes, and they'll tap right into the plastic. So these are the screws mounting the first servo motor and that's going to hold the pencil and now we need to make the second servo motor hold the stick upright and to do that we're going to bend these arms up using a heat gun and then put a little pin through the uh, hole to hold the, this wood stick okay let's go ahead and bend the plastic here. I have a hot air gun, it's a solder uh, reflow gun. I'm going to try to bend the plastic uh, right here by heating it up, bending it with the pliers. This might be a lot harder than it looks. And what you'd like to do is shoot this with some cold water to lock it in place. Have a little bit of water here. And then we heat the other side and do the same thing. Alright, now we've got a nice little fork there. Daddy right. holding a camera. So we have the pencil attached to this servo motor and we bent up those little the other little piece there. We put a nail through it and a little spacer and then we bent the nail at the end here to squeeze it together so it didn't have too much play. We also drilled a hole in the popsicle stick. So now what you do is flip this thing out and this motor will move it this way and this motor will move it this way. And it's very similar to how you write with your hand. You move one way like this and one way in and out with your fingers. Now we have to program it. So the first part of the code here is just the header file for Adafruit, uh, softservo.h, you just get that from their website. The next set here are uh, where the pins are defined, uh, servo pin 0 and 1, that's the uh, two servo motors, pot pin 1, 2, pot pin, uh, and uh, switch pin, those are defining the other pins on the trinket. Uh, the f funny thing is the numbering for the analog inputs is different than the pin numbers uh, for analog one. Uh, the next section here is the calibration. This is where you set the max and the min up for your finger motion, uh, which is F min, F max, and the wrist motion, uh, W min, W max. And then we start to uh, initialize the servo motor with the two objects, and then we're down into a void setup here, which is the next picture. Okay, so here's void loop in the program. This is the main loop of the program. The first uh, portion is reading the analog inputs from the potentiometers and assigning that to the uh, positions of the finger and the wrist piece. And the next section here, we map those two uh, range of values. And then uh, we are into the switch here. So the switch pause one, the if statement, that is uh, determining which mode it's in. Uh, now the list you figure mode, the automatic mode, is really tricky because you have to assign uh, 
whether it's a cosine or a sine function depending on uh, the number of variations and so that's what uh, is being done in the table below here. And in this section here we're just uh, finishing up the wrist motion there. Uh, we're actually telling the servos where to go and then we're updating the time variable for the automatic uh, list as you figure drawing and then instituting a little delay here and then there's a function at the bottom that controls the pot to inside the cigar box. The white cable is the programming cable and you can see a little add a fruit trinket there, the tiny little thing and down at the bottom here is a slow start circuit for the servos and then we've got potentiometers and then there's a little button that you use to program it. Pretty simple setup. And we've just got little LED hooked up there for power screwed into the inside of a cigar box simple construction I took the flat plastic piece here and bent up the two sides put a, put a little nail through the hole and now you can see there's two popsicle sticks with a small spacer in between here's the head of the nail holding it all together and then this is two screws holding another popsicle stick in between and that popsicle stick is screwed to this uh, servo motor here and that one has one of those T-shaped things just taped to a pencil. Simple construction but it looks really cool when it's working in action. <laughs>